so that's what they are saying is that firstly encoding happens that means whatever information is coming to you it could be in the form of uh, echoic echoic that means uh, Hello everyone, today we'll be talking about memory. Now, uh, memory plays a very important role uh, in the entire process of psychology. Why? Because uh, this is a place where the information gets stored. So today we'll be discussing about memory. Now the point is that uh, whatever information that is getting stored in the memory, how is this information getting processed? Because in our daily activities what happen is that we come across so many things so is everything getting stored in our memory so in that way our memory will burst out someday so what is going to happen is that we have to find it out that what are the informations that get processed in the memory how long does it uh, stays there and uh, if it stays there for you know 20 minutes or 30 minutes then how long you know then how come we are able to access so much of information uh, with respect to the things that have got stored uh, since our childhood so that means memory is not as simple as we consider that means there are various aspects of this so how are uh, these things working out and ultimately you know uh, the entire uh, human psychology is working so let's begin now see this is how the memory process occurs how first is encoding next step is storing and the next step is retrieving so understand one thing that uh, first the information is getting encoded so here the information is getting encoded now information is getting encoded what does this mean understand that if someone is uh, talking to you in uh, chinese or uh, you know someone is uh, talking to you in german or in french for that matter would you understand of course not if you are not having uh, you know the accessibility to the information uh, or to the language that means if you don't know french you don't know german you don't know chinese then it is impossible for you to decode what is being said to you so that's what they are saying is that firstly encoding happens that means whatever information is coming to you it could be in the form of uh, echoic echoic that means uh, you know you are uh, hearing it from somewhere or it could be iconic that means you are viewing it something so all these information either you are viewing it or you are hearing it that information gets encoded now encoded that means making mental representation of information that it is placed in memories that means now you will try and find it out that whether i want this information to be stored or not so what happens is this information gets coded encoded now the next thing is storage now if storing if uh, that information is happening so where is this uh, storing happening so placing encoded information into relatively permanent memory or for later recall that means now we are going to or the information which is once encoded now we'll decide we'll decide that we want to keep this information for long term so what is happening is that we are going to store that information into relatively permanent memory for later recalling that means in case if we require that information to be uh, you know recalled so we can easily recall it why because we want to use that information now the third one is retrieving retrieving is getting recalling information that was placed in short term and long term memory that means we have two parts of the memories one is your short term memory other one is your long term memory now what is happening is that we decide whether we want the information to be there in our short term memory or in our long term memory now if short term memory information is there that means it could be used for normal being that means reused within a limited period of time whereas long term memory now this is something for example we know who our parents are right at the same time uh, you know we know 
that uh, you know the career we are pursuing what kind of qualification is required for that so all this thing gets stored in your long term memory so if you see the processes the processes is occurring in a three part once they are encoding the information second they are storing the information and third they are retrieving the information that means they are recalling the information whenever it is required for their own benefit purposes now the memory comprises of what short term working and long term that means we heard about short term memory we heard about long term memory now what is this working memory now short term memory retaining examples repeating capitals of the countries remembering a phone number retrieving names that means uh, you know what happens is that if you want that information to be stored in your memory in short term memory what you need to do is that you need to repeat it you need to uh, you know if you want to remember a phone number what is going to happen is that you are going to recall it for once or twice you are going to remember it for long and retrieving the names that means those people whom name you have already uh, learned it somehow they are already stored in your short term memory now working memory what is working memory so it is a automatic conduct automatic con conduct means once you learn driving what happens is that are you recalling driving no so what happens is that this is automatically in your working memory writing stuttering now what is happening is that once you have learned these things you don't need to recall you don't need to recall it is in your automatic conduct that means in working memory it is automatically getting reinforced that means you know how to eat food you know how to eat food you know how to write you know how to walk etc so all this is in your working memory now long term memory is saying what long term memory deals with associative memory or associative terms that means to know capitals of the country play an instrument speak another language now you might you might say that this is what exactly i told in you in your short term memory now if you recall it for a longer period of time what happens is that it gets stored in your long term memory so to have a information stored in your short term memory what you need to do is keep revising keep recalling it will be there in your short term memory now with repetitive re uh, revising and retention what happens is that it gets stored in your long term memory so the point is that if you want some information to be stored in your long term memory what you need to do is you need to recall it at a specific period of time once you start recalling it with a specific period of time it will automatically get stored in your long term memory now the next uh, thing is that how come the memory is working now this part is talking about information processing model that means how the information is getting uh, processed so as we discussed that in memory what is happening is that the first information is getting encoded that means depends upon the sensory memory what you have seen so it could be your iconic memory or it could be your echoic memory that means either you might have heard something or you might have seen something so all information is lost within a second or so that means you must be witnessing so many uh, tr uh, you know cars passing by so that is what your eyes are viewing so this is where your sensory memory is uh, acting why because you view it this information gets encoded that means through how through selective attention that means you are giving a selective attention to the things you want to be assessed now this reaches your short term memory now what happens is this is unrehearsed information that reaches to your short term memory now continuous rehearsal that's what i said to you in the previous slide that continuous rehearsal will lead to what the consolidation of the information and this information will be now going to your long term memory where the information is going to store for long term and if you want 
to retain the information it could be you know uh, you 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 can um, reassess the information whenever you want so this long term memory helps in retrieval of information so this was just an introductory section for uh, memory um, in the previous uh, videos i have talked about uh, you know various issues with psychology now in the coming videos i'll be talking about other things which uh, you know uh, which are very curious with respect to psychology thank you so much